everybody grab a snack come on in sit down sit down let's get ready to watch some film the first film session of the year the dallas cowboys were victorious versus the new york giants beat up on them last sunday and we finally got the all 22 film let's break this thing down this is the first of many this year y'all be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when i drop all this beautiful bean footage um we're gonna talk about kellen moore today his new offense and how dak prescott orchestrates it i was so impressed with it and i got a lot of little notes and details and tidbits to kind of hit y'all with uh let's get some education real fast okay let's just run the play first uh y'all picketed and protested cussed and wrote hate mail to get pre-snap motion up in here and then people hop on the twitter machine they ask yo vach what is the motion actually doing well okay let's 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 talk about it y'all wanted it but you know let's get into it a little bit first and foremost this is the formation that we hit that we hit them with right this is the first look that we gave them now why do we run pre-snap motion not only to dictate what they're doing to 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 know what defense they're running coverage is sure but we want them to kind of get the vibes of of what we're doing it's a it's a vibe exchange right everybody in the chat box hashtag vibe exchange right we want you to kind of get a feel of what we could do now whether we do that or not that's up to us as an offense right Zeke is lined up in the slot right here now mind you cooper caught the ball right around here we know cooper's gonna be here but it's kind of clustered right here we got a guy here a guy there a guy there so it's a couple reasons why we'll pre-snap motion zeke into the backfield let's just do this because if zeke moves the defense moves with him Okay, look at these guys just moving around here, okay? I'm going to run the play. I want you to look at your offensive line here. Now, back in the day, if we would play action, I mean back in the day like last year, if we would play action, we would just kind of regular play action and Zeke would just go with it. We really want to sell the image of a run here. Let's get these offensive linemen pulling. That makes people nervous. You see old linemen pulling, that'll really give you the notion that, hey, man, he might be getting the ball right here. And with these linemen pulling, look at this defender, this defender, this defender, this defender. Oh, they're going downhill with them uh they going downhill with them but look those offensive linemen going that way zeke selling the fake look at all this space amari cooper got now so not only are we feeding cooper early and often if you watch the game you uh you notice that i'm gonna show y'all a handful of plays later that are gonna build off of that but now coop got a lot of space off this play action we're not just selling the run we're creating space for amari cooper on this slant here it's it's, it's about to get even more fantastic man keep watching how about this play? And I need everybody to, to hang in there with me. I'm going to get a little long-winded because there's so much information in terms of pre-snap stuff right here, okay? Um, Jamez Olawale is lined up to the outside right here. Let me just run the play first. I know y'all get sick of me when I start talking and I don't run the play first. That just means I'm excited, right? It means I'm excited. But uh, people hit me up and say, yo, Vaj, why are we why are we constantly trying to get the Giants to to jump off sides here? What's the, what's, what's the deal with the cadence here? Well... We're not actually trying to get the the Giants to uh, jump off sides. We actually did this in high school. This is this is funny when I was playing, but um, we just want them to to show us what they're working with, right? We're still exchanging vibes here. Hashtag exchange the vibes. We're we're, we're still doing that. First of all, Jamez Olawale is lined up to the outside. Now, if Jamez Olawale runs to the outside and we don't see a linebacker run to the outside, then we know they're not in man coverage. So we know for sure they're in zone right now. That's one. Bit of information that we got now we're gonna bring jamez into the backfield and nobody goes with him so that just further assures us that it's some zone coverage right now now we see this this freeze here dak is saying down said hut but then nobody moved because we're trying to gather information we're continuing to to kind of feel these vibes out now what we got from that i want you to look at this defender look at this defender and look at this d lineman right here just the information that we got in just that split second what we got is this linebacker is kind of backing up a little bit, right? This DB, let me bring it back a little. This DB, he, he, he's kind of going to step up a little bit once he see that, that calls his hurt, right? He's going to call her right there. This DB is going to kind of step up a little bit, right? That's the vibe that we're looking for. What are your true intentions? We want you to wear, as a defense, we want you to wear your play on your sleeve. Even this D lineman right here, this, this little jump right here, we see, oh, you're trying to cross face here. So even if you're an offensive lineman and, and that calls her and we don't move and I see this D lineman trying to cross face here, here, that's even more information cool so we gathered all these things so we know this guy's gonna bail out this guy's gonna blitz we know this d lineman is gonna cross face and we know it's zone coverage let's run the play and see if we was right 
Hell yeah, we was right. Blitz there. <laughs> Wait a minute. We got a blitz there. Uh, 47 right here. He's gonna bail out, and we got 97 or this D lineman here. He's gonna he's gonna try to cross our face, and we know we got uh zone coverage, so we know exactly which windows that we can uh that we can uh throw to to get Cobb the ball there. Is that Cobb? Sure. We know exactly which window to get the ball to to um to uh Cobb there. So that's just all that. And just that little bit of information, just Jamez lining up outside, Jamez motioning to the backfield, and a freeze. We have five bits of information that help us with that uh, play call. Even on this play here, take a look at this. They're gonna they're gonna place the ball. We're in, we're in empty right now. I'm gonna run the play. Dak's gonna call Hut. We're gonna freeze it. Mm. He gonna jump off sides. But what else did we see here? Let me run the play because I'm, I'm excited, man. I promise y'all I'm excited. But uh, Dax, Dax making his calls. He's making his moves right now. Um, this is Gallup and Tony down bottom right here. Gallup and Tony Pollard down bottom. Let's just talk about what just happened right here down bottom. First of all, when we called our freeze right there, right? We, we kind of see this cornerback giving us a little bit of space, giving us a little bit of room to work with. Okay, cool. If this corner is going to give us this much room to work with, then let's call something short to kind of manipulate this little bit of space. If you're going to, like, give me this much room to operate, cool. Let's do something fast, quick, and short. So what we're going to do, the play that was actually called since we, um, since we know the vibes, right? Hashtag exchange the vibes, right? Since we know what this play is, we're going to call a play that's going to let Tony Pollard right there, uh, uh, Tony Pollard and Michael Gallup, they're going to be in a two-on-one situation versus this, this linebacker right here. Vach, how do you know that? Because with the pre-snap stuff, we know that this DB is going to give us a lot of space, so we ain't even worried about him. So what we're going to see once we run this, run it, run it, run it, run it right there. Tony's going to run a hitch right here, and Gallup is going to run a slant over the top. So what we're going to do, this linebacker is, is, is basically what we're looking at. If this linebacker is going to come down and play this hitch on Tony, then cool, we'll just hit Gallup. But if he plays back and and covers Gallup, then we'll hit Tony. Now, this linebacker is pretty terrible. He ain't end up covering nobody. But in rule, in theory of this play, he's technically covering Tony right now. So we're going to hit Gallup. And, you know, we, we, we get more yards when we, you know, throw the ball to Gallup right here. Now, how do we know Gallup was going to be open? Well, because <laughs> based on the vibes that we found, based on the uh, the uh, pre-snap freezing and things like that, we knew that this cornerback was going to bail out and give us a gang of space, and that he did. This ain't really got nothing to do with with uh, Kellen right now. This is more so Dak and Blake Jarwin. Aren't y'all proud that that Blake Jarwin finally learned how to bend and adapt to the leverage of the defense? Ain't y'all glad? Blake Jarwin's that tight end right here. Back in the day, last year, or the year before that, because he tore up the Giants last year. Back in the day, Blake would just keep running down these hashes here. See my mouse? He'll just keep running down these hashes right here, and he'll basically go into the leverage of this uh, of this safety right here. And we don't get a we don't get a lot of good leverage right there. We really want Blake to bend this thing in. What I mean by bend? Bend your ass. Up this damn seam here, man. That's what we wanted from Blake this entire time, man, to get a little more to the inside. Now, what happens when he gets to the inside is he's behind these guys and he's perfectly right in front of this dude, right? But then you can't bend too much because then it'll just end up being a crossing route. You'll be closer to this guy and that guy. But Blake finally figured out the, the right exact leverage, the perfect combination of lemon juice, water, and sugar to get that lemonade right up the middle of them brackets there to get into the end zone, man. Let, let, let everybody just clap for Blake Jarwin, man. Drop your, drop your hand clap emojis in the comment section right now for Blake Jarwin. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to affordablesticks.com. They sent me a fire stick. Plug that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's affordablesticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Now, on this play, this Jason Witten touchdown, the Giants made this incredibly easy for us for really biting down on the Zeke thing, right? But when we watch these old play action come back bootleg to the other side, like like when we see these these plays or whatnot, you know, it it was kind of predictable. It was kind of, hey, this is what the Cowboys always do. Like we always ran this play. However, what we used to do 
is we used to have a guy on this side of the field crossing, running a shallow or just a cross or whatever, crossing to the other side of the field, right? This is just small, small nuances here. So what happened is if I'm the tight end next to, let's say, Tyron Smith or whatever, and I'm crossing the field and then I'm in Dak Prescott's line of vision, that's giving these linebackers and safeties a, a full full visual of me running across the formation. However, what we got this time, which is which is different, which is totally different. Couple a uh, couple layers of this thing here. First of all, we're going to play action, offensive line looking looking good. They're moving up and down this thing. Two things here. First of all, Jason Witten is actually blocking. He's selling his block, which is which is better, which is not what he did at first. But remember what I said? Like last year, we used to have a guy from the other side run to the front side. That's this guy here. That's this guy here. And this guy is basically a decoy for us because, hey, uh-oh, Dallas is doing that thing again where they play action Zeke and they'll they'll bootleg the other way. So we're going to cover up this guy. However, we're not throwing to this guy. We would do that last year. We're just going to throw it to Jason Witten because he was faking the block earlier, right? We didn't really get a good idea that the defense didn't, didn't get a good idea that Jason was going to be the uh, fake guy here because he was selling the run. He was blocking here. But Hey man, that backside thing is wide open, and um, Monday Night Football wit got another touchdown there. Last play, y'all. Th this was something pretty interesting here. Now, when I first saw this, I thought this was the read option. I thought, hey man, we just gonna get a ball to either Jamez or Dak, and I was like, man, that's that's uh, that's, that's that's interesting that we're running read option with Jamez here, but that's not the case. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> we're not running read option with Jamez, which is faking the ball to Jamez. OK, then he's going to come back around and block this backside guy that we didn't block. Right. It's a lot of funky stuff going on right here because in read option, we do let guys run free in read option. We do. Um, we do leave this guy open to read him. And if he and if he stays put, then we then we hand the ball off to Jamez. If we um, if he plays down on Jamez, then that keeps it. But this is interesting in the fact that. And I didn't even expect Jamez to even run the ball anyway. I don't know why, why I even thought that. But it's interesting because we fake the ball with Jamez, but Jamez stops, pivots, and turns into a blocker. So at first, I thought it was a read option, but it was just a design quarterback run for Dak to just get his uh, to get his uh, first down yard just here. That was pretty interesting, man. Um, let me, Yeah, that's it. Hey, man, look, it's a lot of stuff. Just me watching over this film, man. The All-22 is fantastic. I know I'm a little late in the week. It's really Tuesday. I'm not really late, but I really just wanted to wait for the All-22 the all film so we could really get a good idea of what was going on pre-snap. And I know that pre-snap motion is going to be the biggest question this week. Yo, Vach, what do we do different offense-wise with uh, Kellen and, you know, Dak and them? And um, I wanted to wait for the for the real film to come out for me to, to drop this thing. But, hey, man, that's it. Trust me, we got a lot more to break down this week. I have an Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup video coming out. I got a Randall Cobb video coming out. I'm going to touch on the offensive line at some point. And y'all know we're going to do the post-game show and the morning after show after the game um, uh, next uh, Sunday and Monday. So, hey, man, it's film time, man. It's football season. I'm excited. This Cowboy offense has me excited as well. Let's keep this thing going. Um Let's uh let's keep getting educated throughout the week. All right. Y'all follow me on Twitter, V O C H L O N B A R D I. Y'all support everybody that support me. And uh y'all hold down for the Doski Wilson Peace Whiskey. After canceling my cable, I saved twenty four hundred dollars this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay two hundred plus dollars a month. I paid one twenty a year. Or you can go fifteen a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get twenty five hundred HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is this multi screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. Because if you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com, hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month 
month with increased production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.